Yeah, that's right, Stephanie. With the men's basketball season now over, it's something many of us are thinking about. Will the school see a financial fallout? So here's what a local economist had to say. The effects of something like this can be long lasting and significant. When it comes to college basketball, the business can often bring in a lot of money. But this latest investigation at New Mexico State University isn't looking too promising. A lot of it goes into salary and benefits, things like coaching support uh, and associated staff, travel expenses, and of course the athletic scholarships themselves. According to the school's website, 2023 season tickets for the men's basketball games range anywhere from 200 to 400 bucks. With almost 12,500 seats available, at the Pan American Center in Las Cruces, that means over a million dollars could be generated, a number that could fall short with the season now over. So it becomes kind of a, a self-fulfilling cycle that becomes very hard to get out of fiscally. Economist Riley White says the impacts could be huge, not only when it comes to the school's credibility and enrollment, but its athletics department and the avenues they may no longer have. It makes it difficult. If it's more difficult to recruit players, that means that your team may not perform as well in the future. And that relates to things like ticket sales, media deals, and everything else. A possibility that's not pleasing many Aggie fans. Like Bob Gallagher, a former member of the school's Board of Regents. He says it's an ultimate loss of respect to a program he's always loved. This is a storied program, and this is a program, like I said, one shot away from the Sweet 16, and less than 12 months later, we can't finish the season. Now Gallagher says he's disgusted by this controversy, adding that the problem should have been handled a long time ago. Darlene.